Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Finally, the Final Fantasy X banner is available on this week. Let's talk about the 5 stars hero, Tidas. He is really powerful hero like Orlando, but he has water element instead of light. His chaining skill, Quick Trick, has 12 hits instead of 7 hits like other Landu family. This is good because it means it has better potential for chaining, but also bad at the same time because there is only short frame between each hit which make it quite hard to chain him with others. He also learned some good support skills. The first is like rain leadership, but you still attack at the same time, so it is pretty good. However, unlike or unlike other Landu family, he cannot debuff enemy water resistance with his own skill. You need to use his LB to debuff it. Luckily, his LB charge fast thanks to his passive and the debuff effect is greater than 50%. This means he can deal more damage once you have done that. His quick trick is also non-elemental, makes him usable on any situation. He is also able to become finisher if you already have too many chainer on your party. So yeah, he is really good. In my opinion, he is the best 5 stars base at this moment. I really hope to get him while I'm trying to get Riku. Tidas is powerful. But the most valuable unit on this banner is the 4 star space hero, Riku. She is really needed because of her insane LB. In my opinion, she has the best LB in this game. That's why on Famitsu, she get 14 as her score even she is a 4 star space hero. She will give auto life buff to all of your characters for 3 turns and boost their defense and spirit at the same time. She also reveal her LB fast, which probably make her able to cast it every 3 turns if you build her right. She also able to chain and support your party when you don't need her LB. I know that many players have said that you don't need to get her now because she is permanent, but I suggest you to burn all your lapis even with her banner. The chance to get her is still at 4.75%. But yeah, this is simply my opinion. In my opinion, Riku is same as 5 stars base. The next hero is Waka. He is mm, 3 stars base. He is max at 5 stars at this moment, but he able to become 6 stars later. But really, his skill set is mediocre. I think Gami only put him as a routine for having 3 stars base at the banner. His trust master is quite good, you can give it to Zetzer as he get benefit from equipping throwing weapon. So, should you summon on this banner? Absolutely. Waka is the worst hero on this banner, but his trust master reward is still usable. Tidas and Riku are considered one of the best units for this game, so no reason not to try to get them all. The Final Fantasy X event is not farming event, but still, these characters are really worth to burn your lapis for. My suggestion is to keep doing daily lapis and stop once you get Riku. If you still don't get Riku, then you can start use your 5000 lapis summon. Tidas is good, but let us be realistic here. You cannot fight the odds when you are free to play players. Also, we already know that Final Fantasy 12 banner is coming soon. So you still need to save some lapis for that banner later. So let me repeat this. Keep summoning until you get Riku and then stop. Don't push your luck. 
I think I'm gonna use my 4 stars ticket on this banner. Also, I won't do 5 stars guarantee summon until I get Riku because yeah, she's just that good and I really need all tickets and lapis to get her. Another important thing is the guaranteed 5 star summon have a chance to summon Tidas and other Final Fantasy X characters but they don't get increased rate. The Final Fantasy Brave Exodus Facebook team already confirmed this so yeah you don't need to be confused with what I said on previous video but yeah remember without increased drop rate we only have small chance to get Tidas but yeah still better than nothing. I give this banner perfect 10 as a score. Also, my suggestion for you is to save your 10 plus 1 summon tickets for later use. We get 2 of 10 plus 1 tickets. One is from first day of anniversary and the second ticket is from the last July 28 login rewards. We already get plenty of summons like free daily summons until 28 July. So I will wait until Gami add more heroes to the game so we get less chance to get duplicate. But yeah, I'm assuming that the ticket doesn't have an expiry date. If it has an expiry date, then make sure you use it before it expires. Now let's talk about the event itself. So this event will be available once the maintenance is over. So it is unlike previous event which available on Friday. This is an exploration event but it seems that we need to come back to the dungeon few times to collect ingredients for exclusive weapons. They are pretty good. Rasmatas is a godly weapon for Colosseum. Combine it with dual wield and AOE attack, you probably gonna end the battle within one or two turns. Override is a must have weapon for Riku, so make sure you obtain it. Now let's talk about the tip. Tip number one, Spirit Slayer. You can craft this ability easily, but you need to open silver chest to get it. I don't think it is a problem because I believe you have a lot of keys at this moment to open that chest. Even if you don't have the key at this moment, you can simply buy the materials from the Prefronter King Mok at this moment. Tip number two, have two pair of elements, fire and ice, water and thunder. This boss is like Kefka Trial which have high crisis for all elements. However, you can alter it simply by attack using certain element. If you use fire, then its ice resist will go down. If you use thunder, its water resist will go down. Tip number 3, have resistance to those elements. I am not sure whether you are able to predict the element it used but I think you will be able to do that. So yeah, Minfilia may be enough for this battle. Tip number four is attack and magic debuff. You cannot debuff all of its stats, only attack and magic. So better do that to reduce the damage. And of course, don't forget to buff yourself. Tip number five, poison resist. If you don't have enough equipment, then try to have a character that able to recover your party from poison because Perimorph can do gravity-like attack which leave your health on critical condition. If you don't recover from the poison, the characters may die from the poison effect. Tip number 6, Hybrid and Magical Attack. Perimorph has high defense. I bet in the global, it has physical resisting. So your physical attack maybe won't do a lot of damage unless, yeah, you utilize the elemental weakness. But if you don't want to do that, then hybrid and magical attack like Ultima is your best friend. Fry Evia is really good on this battle because 
you do two things with her. Her frost flower blitz is a hybrid attack, so it is good. You can also make Sperry Mob to weak against ice, so yeah, it will take a lot of damage. I think, well, Fry Evia probably able to kill it within one or two turns. So yeah, use her as a friend later. I think those are all you need to know about Sperry Morph. I will talk more about it on the battle video guide later. We also get the King Mo Great event. I'm not sure about the tip because I cannot understand the Japanese wiki on this one. So I will just talk about it on the battle video again. But from what I know, the Moog is also fairy type. So Spirit Slayer is also useful for the battle. We can get many good things from the raid event, but the most important thing is probably the Moogle Trashmaster because that will be useful for Riku. Also, don't forget that 6 stars form of Warrior of Flight and Garland are available on this week. So yeah, they will be able to help us, especially Warrior of Flight for this event. So yep. I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave Axios Guide. Bye bye guys.